Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices. We'll be covering the S&P and the NASDAQ. And with the S&P uh, 500 here, we're looking at uh, this wave four here, all the way up to this wave five here. And this will take us into uh, 2018. Uh, any, uh, it depends on how long wave four takes. Once that's figured out, uh, because it could be quite complicated because wave two was simple here as an A and a B and a C so wave four could be more complicated like a triangle and so on um, but um, yeah so we look up to here um, either in May or October but we'll be able to figure that out when we when we're sort of in that space now the thing that we're looking at at the moment is from wave two here we're looking for five waves uh, here of minor degree here for uh, the top of wave three here. I do have, um, as you know, uh, two counts uh, coming up this little pathway here, and we're looking for five waves up here. It just depends if we take this one as the low or this one here as the low. That's the difference. So I've been playing both of them, um, and it hasn't really sort of uh, sort of bothered us too much at this stage, but. Once we get the next high in here, then it will play out um, and then we'll be able to sort out which uh, count that we're on here. So when I look at, um, at the NASDAQ count from wave four here, from this wave four here, it counts very nicely as wave one and two and three and four and five here for wave one and back for wave two and then one and two and three and four and up for five here for the third wave and then the fourth wave here and then the fifth wave here. This is how I think that the S&P 500 will play out. Uh, the, the, um, so let's just go in and have a look at that. Um, but just before we do that, the S&P 500, we've got our primary count as where this wave three is finishing uh, here. Um, so one more little high here and then it will have a larger correction here but um, we'll get there once we get this little path here five waves and this little structure finished then before we make a decision we'll just let this one here unfold and we'll work it out if, if it's um, impulsive or if it's um, corrective at that stage but this is the uh, count for uh, the NASDAQ so if we take this count and look at the S&P 500 here. Let me just put that on on this chart here. So in this case, there's a couple of different ways to um, to also count this too. So um, this here, um, if I have wave four here, because we've we've got really a nice A, B, and C pattern here, you know, so this wave four can go here but even if it's just here we can look at this as wave one here and two here and then wave three here and four here and then a nice strong uh, wave two here then a nice strong third wave here the third of the third here then the fourth here coming back to the wave four here and then wave five here so we need this little move up here to finish which we'll investigate in a moment but once that's finished here then I believe that we'll get another correction before another move up here. And the length of this one here will be roughly the same as the first one here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that, that's how I think this will play out. But for, for our sort of intraday trading at the moment, um, we should be focused on uh, this little move coming uh, up through here. So on the... Uh, just on the four hour chart here, the original count that we've got here is this one here, which has got uh, a wave four here, but it's got wave one here, wave two here, wave three here, wave four here, and then the extension in wave five. Um, yes, you can have the extension in wave uh, five or wave one or wave three here. Most of the time in stocks, it's in wave three. Um, so that's why I think this is a wave three here and not a wave five here, but we need to tread cautiously as well. So um, in a nutshell, as you know, we're just looking for five waves up here to finish this off here. 
and then we'll either have a correction back lower here um, or we'll have a correction back to the wave 4 here and then a move up here for wave 5 if we're looking at this being the alternative uh, wave 3 here. So we're just going to need a little bit of patience until we um, until we figure this out here as such. Just save that. Yeah, so our focus is really on this one here. So going from the four hour chart to the one hour chart here, and we're pretty much on track um, looking at this the way that we were looking at it uh, last time. So uh, first of all, we've got um, wave five here. Oops, a daisy. Um, we've got wave five here of five or five of three, but the spanner in the works is that this could be wave three here and then we would look for wave 4 coming back to this base here. In both cases though we should see a corrective move uh, from uh, you know from from this area here so that's what we're looking at but our main job now is to count five waves from here um, up to this base here so I'll just go into the tick chart here for this and let me just open this up a little bit and get it into perspective here so this is 100 ticks so um, I'm assuming that we've got wave 1 here and wave 2 here um, this could be a wave this could be a wave 2 over here because this little move up here is like 3 waves here not 5 um, so it's possible to have this as wave 2 here and if that's the case then wave 3 is here wave 4 is here and wave 5 is here but um, I just also I'm quite happy with this little count here as well so we'll just stay with this one for the time being but <clears throat> either way um, I can't draw on this side here but basically one and two and three and four when this finishes here so we're looking for a move to the upside you know you would have been out of the market if you're a short-term you know trader um, on the Friday of course um, but uh, in looking at this here, um, we've either got, uh, if I just take this here for a moment, copy this here, this can also be a wave 5 here as well. I know this is a little bit, um, oops, I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, so let's just see sort of how this plays out here. But I guess the main point here is that we're looking for um, a top here. Uh, in in one way or another, but let's just play it out. Also, too, you know, if um, if you see this here, we've got say we've got I can draw over this side wave three here, wave four here, and then we get wave five moving up to this space up here. What that will do is that that will give us a reference point through through there. So um, once that first high comes in through here, once it does come in then you know no matter what happens after that if the market moves up and takes that out again then you need to be long at that point and you'll be able to bring that further down uh, lower here as well because I think that this is the wave 4 here so that's where um, this wave 4 can pull back to uh, within this space here before seeing another move to the upside here um, yeah the only way to turn bearish at this stage here even if this tops out here is to find the the low here and find the the high here so i'll just put it on top of this high here so um you know this space down here which i should be able to draw on here this space here if that becomes the retested resistance uh here <clears throat> then you know that We've got a top in place and we'll be moving down from that point but um, as it stands this uh, you can't turn bearish until let's just say that um, the lower end of group two here so 2565 if that becomes the retested resistance here then you can move down uh, you can look at start looking at short trades at that point because we do need some sort of evidence that there's a turn in the market and you don't want to fight the trend you want to go with the trend so you need to stay with the evidence so the evidence of this stage is that we're still in an uptrend here so that's the direction that you should be going all right um i'll leave that at that cheers